couple that's going your neighbours uh, up well particularly for those people in Drogheda and me they're mm-hmm. in a commanding lead 3-5 plays 3 points for Wicklow in the, in the championship uh, Mayo have won an 8 against West Commons uh, 5 points so that's a 6 point game and for Mana and down nip and tuck as one way we expect 6 plays 5 Fitzgerald has a look takes a shot sends her high Looks good. and yep. 3 points apiece Fitzgerald has converted Connolly out left side of the field Colum Shaden under it so to Caelan Kelly Caelan went in underneath it and now it's the man operating on top of the left Phelan Joyce he started in the middle of the field still has it Joyce looking at his options nice flick in there yeah. by Colum Shaden as he intercepts that one but unable to keep it in possession now it's sent all the way in by Keenan it's going to be dropping in around the house Could is it going to be a little bit too much in it it's gone out to, to the right and loud record their second wide Probably had other options on. It was a little bit yeah, of probably just a bit of rush of the blood to the head there from from Keenan. He's had a good start to the game, gone on to plenty of ball. Uh, the shot just flashing wide on that occasion, but a good start from him. Uh, and let it be reasonably happy with this with this opening nine minutes or so. Up for they go there. Keenan does well, fetches that one, got the nudge in the back, and rightly wins his free. Gagan, no doubt. Will yeah, have a lash yeah, from Gagan's there. coming out. Yeah, to, number twenty-three to on this. the back. Yeah, I know one thing. Uh, any team that could afford to have him at number 23, well, it wouldn't be the Larry Maher Cup to be playing. He's a fine, Absolutely. fine hurler. Yeah. So far, and there they go. And Keenan, that time now seems to have, hope it's not a hamstring injury. That's the area of not quite sure he's getting the drink, but I think mm. he's going to be good to go. But uh, anyway, should be, yeah. a brave hurler put the hand up in traffic. No problem to him. Gagan, he now lining up his process. Something a little bit similar to Brian Fitzgerald. They all have all their own routines. Own routines. Good strike. And that one has gone to the left, left just to the left and yeah. wide. Just the wind caught it at the lucky, last. Yeah, unlucky on that occasion. Yeah, it seemed to be a good strike from me. But the wind's picked up in the last couple of minutes, uh, Paddy. The wind's picked up just slightly. Caelan Kelly gets it. He goes up very close to the sand side of the field. And it's touched out across the line. It's going to be a sideline cut to the Cavs men. Well, good work there in fairness by Andrew McCrave. He got in, got the hand, got the hurl on the ball and stopped the Cavan man there. The right half forward for Cavan uh, was trying to get possession there, Jeremy Carney. Yeah, good flick away, Andrew McKay, very, very, very experienced horror. Uh, Pierce old club man, uh, definitely has a handful of county championships to his name. Good horror. Anthony Shorten will be the taker. He goes far side of the field. Fairkey Hughes is coming in now. He's going ball. to leave it for the gunner. The gunner has it. Still, Philip Brady has it. Wins the free. Philip is in the senior years. He's a good dual player. Has a number of senior championship medals. Has played for Mullerhorn for just about the twenty seasons. Uh, so uh, his uncle was a, a very famous Cavan footballer, and mm. uh, uh, I was I think maybe a, 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 a guard, a member of the guard of Shikon at some stage in his illustrious career in in uh, County Loud. With the Gunner Brady, full back for Cavan in their glory years. As Fitzgerald takes a look there with the green helmet, should nail it. He sends us. Yeah, makes no mistake. Cavan take the lead. Fitzgerald has her over the bar. But uh, yeah. Philip uh, may not have the legs anymore, Stephen, but he's a shrewd old uh, cagey boy when he gets in around the house. Deadly. Ball breaking in the middle of the field. But loud are the ones coming away with the That's break. The man that has it is Keenan. Keenan sending it in around the house. Ball break, bro- broke out there by the Cavan defender. It's Paul Matthews that has it. Paul Matthews still has it. Throws it back out to his centre forward. Centre forward made the... Somebody's going to man down here. The referee's taking a look here. There seems to be a man down. Yeah, Could be in trouble be with an ankle. Nasty, nasty and the linesman right area. away is is uh, calling Much. maybe for uh, uh, some assistance here. This could doesn't look good. It looks as if maybe it's the an ankle injury. I'm not quite sure, Stephen. Yeah, I'm don't not actually sure. Now. He seems to be holding his leg some sort. Uh, Paddy, it, I can't just see who it is there. I just can't see the number. He was in for the puck. Yeah. It, was, it, it happened. Was it Ryan Walsh, maybe? He seems to be in a bit of distress. It could actually be Ryan Walsh, yeah, just as I see the, the white helmet there. But uh, he seems to be in a bit of distress. All yeah, right. the left ankle yeah. seems to be yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe it was just in that. Uh, and it was Loud who came away. It was Loud who came away with the break ball there in that, for that puck out. And uh, that's something that they've actually been doing very well in the early going here. We have 12 minutes and change on the clock. And Loud have been getting the better of the breaking ball. But uh, that certainly would be a loss. He started off well. He's ran at teams. And I'm not quite sure what decision will be the referee does he throw it in is it a free uh, not quite sure there was the centre forward was the last man in possession Shawnee Crosby yeah. Shawnee was on the attack so we'll see when play resumes but yeah, well he didn't um, really seem to foul the ball so my guess would be it would be an indirect free uh, possibly I think Gagan has the ball in hand so Gagan has the ball in hand he's on the 45 Ryan so Walsh. it's a free in is it it must be 
Now, Ryan Walsh looks as if he's going to continue, but I'm not quite sure. He's quite ginger yeah, he's me just, on that yeah. left ankle. I'm yeah. sure he's just giving it a bit of a test out. He would maybe rolled his ankle, I suppose, is the modern terminology. Yeah. I would say that uh, the man most likely to receive this one is Conor Matthews. Yeah, it is an indirect free, yeah. It's played back out to Liam Malai now. Liam Malai has yeah. it. Liam Malai being tackled by Philip Brady. Liam Malai going from score from distance. It's a fine, fine score. Oh, it's a brilliant score. So I'm having a bit of a couple of puck around there before yeah. the game. I even said it to you. So this yeah. guy looks like he has, he's the business. Yeah, very natural hurler. Uh, dual player as well. Liam, he started midfield for the Brains team. who would have won the Leyland Intermediate Football Championship earlier this year, Paddy. So good, good dual player and a very good score there. Out they go. Ball breaks. And again, the loud men on it. The man that has it now is sent back up. is the man who just scored. Malai up to Paul Matthews. Paul Matthews involved quite a bit in the early going. Still Paul Matthews. Still Paul Matthews. He sends it in. And that's the man that we thought the ankle was gone. He sends her in. And he sends her. It's going to be an advantage there. Free in. Was it an advantage? Gagan heading uh, out to yeah, take it another free. To be, yeah, it seemed to be. Um, the, the whistle just went as the ball flashed wide there. I think he just dragged that effort to the left and right on that occasion. Uh, Paddy, I think the... Yeah, he's heading over yeah. there. It's going to be over towards Gagan. I think maybe it was a hurl. Maybe caught yeah, somebody. Yeah, just maybe careless use there. Just unintentional. So another chance for Gagan to add to his tally there. He's, I think he's... So we're four points apiece. A chance for Gagan to put the loud men ahead. The Wee County. He's just on the 45. And he's just maybe one metre in from the terrace side of the field. Difficult, uh, difficult uh, enough angle for him. Paddy, but he should... The wind will be in his favour yeah. if you look at the flags Absolutely, there. That's yeah. just, just going to throw it up into yeah. the wind. And that looks yeah. as if, yes, he Dead goes on. to the flag. They're going to have to learn. Darren has three. Loud have yeah. five. And yeah. it's another Darren now who's taken the puck out. Darren, oh, it on. This time he hits her on a lower trajectory and he gets her up. But your ball flicking there now down to Fakra Hughes going for the break ball. Fakra had it, lost it, has it back again. Looking to get it back, he does. Very agile horror, Fakra Hughes. Agile horror, sent great, it back up for that three. He telegraphed a bit yeah. and it was that man again. Man is down. I don't know. I, don't, I think he slipped in fairness to him that time. He slipped underneath. Yeah, he was a bit clever the there. The referee Lee is he talking to down. people. He went down holding his head. Lee Malloy. He was very cute and clever there. Uh, it did seem to be. Uh, he did seem to get a bit of a. It was almost like he had slipped was, under the tackle. Yeah, yeah. Seemed to be accidental enough. Colin, Mc, Colin McDonald just having a, a quick word there with the. Is it the cabin? Yeah, the Colin Shannon yeah. is. Uh, yeah. Was asking the question there. The Colin's normally a very quiet uh, kind of a chap on the field. Uh, t doesn't tend to ask many questions. No. It seems to be a free in nonetheless. Nonetheless, Another a chance, chance now to put yeah. the first time today maybe to put two in it. And uh, Liam Malai is uh, up and at it, and he doesn't seem to be any the worse for wear. So, 63, I suppose, and a half metres. Suits him on this side. Going through, as you said, the routine. Takes a look, and that one looks good from here. That's black spot country. Yep. Two-point game. Very, very good free there from Darren Gagan. As you say, the wind just picking up that little bit more. Paddy could be a factor. So, once again, we go from a Darren to a Darren. This time, Shorten hits one's just much higher. Carney's under it. They're all on ball breaking towards Hughes. It's going to be picked up again there now by the scorer of one point, Liam Malai. Liam Malai sending it back inside towards Paul Matthews. Matthews is there, so to his end of Shalvey. Ball still comes back to Matthews. Matthews well won by Matthews there. Comes the second time at it. Back in it comes again. Now it's going to be back into Walsh. Walsh turns, sending her in. And he sends her just oh yeah. didn't know which way the umpire was going to go there he had the hands together was he going to wave Not it wide sure, but no he eventually seemed, said yeah seems to be given given so it's a three-point game impressive score there paddy off his left very good score yeah. off his left and i just do notice though he is hobbling a little bit on that ankle so we'll just keep an eye on that as we go as darren shorten takes the puck out he this time goes low to column shannon column has it column breaks the challenge still column shannon He's sending her up into the corner towards Killian. Killian has it. Uh, outside him is Brian Fitzgerald. Still Brian Fitzgerald. Still Killian now. Is he going to pull the trigger? He sends her in high. And he sends her to the left and wide. Killian would have expected, I would imagine, uh, to convert that one from the angle as Connolly takes a look at his options. Loud 
quite busy out there. Players running into various positions. This one coming yeah. to Keenan, and he did. It's he made a out. purposeful run there. That was a planned move as Caelan Kelly there and Paul Matches fight that one out. Paul Matches has it. Paul still has it. Now he has a bit of open ground in front of him. Is he going to go for the net? Goal he chance. sends her in. Darren Shorten is there. It's in. It's goal. <laughs> Goal scored goal. by Andrew Mackin. Andrew Mackin is there. Darren Shorten will not be at all happy with that one. He would no. have felt maybe that he should have caught that one on the fly. He got to stick to it, didn't clear it. And Mackin was in to pounce and it's a score. And uh, he has to retake that one. Does Darren Shorten as he went to take it quickly? But that certainly puts a bit of daylight between the teams. And you would have to say that uh, maybe Darren wouldn't be happy with that one. Yeah, no, uh, poor, poor mistake from Darren Shorten. He, he will be very disappointed with that. But uh, Andrew Mackin was a poacher's effort, really, as the water breaks call there. Uh, Got on the end of it, got on the end of the, the deflection and uh, would be happy. But excellent work from Paul Matches to co to create the opportunity. Yes, shrugged yes. Off the sh shrugged off the challenge, uh, his effort. A little bit disappointed with his effort, but uh, obviously he fell, f fell kindly, you'd have to say, for Andrew Mackin, and he, and he made no mistake. Paul Matches has that habit of, you know, some of those, he's, he's a tall hurler, yeah. he's gangly of himself, but he leaves his non-holding arm, if you want it, he leaves mm. it hanging in there as if, well, if there's a free going here and I get a wee tug of yeah. this arm at all. So that's, you know, there's certain things you can't, that you can't uh, coach. And I'm just going to give us now on the water break a little, uh, maybe a reminder on how the football is going at half time in the uh, Dr. Hyde Park, it's was common 5 Mayo 1 8, but that could be a wind assisted Mayo lead. Let's time will tell. At half time, Longford lead Leash by 110 to 17. Mead 3 6 at half time, to that which is of course 9 and 6 is 15, plays 3 points up in Ockram. And uh, in Brewster Park, down lead by the min minimum against their neighbours for Manor. So all to play for in the second half in those games. Uh, apart from maybe we would imagine that Wicklow maybe uh, don't have are strong enough for a Mead team that seems to be coming strong, although they got relegated to Division 1. Mm. But back here down to a Hurland match. I don't know how you feel, Stephen, but we've noticed here, and I know you've been involved with uh, the, the loud streaming situation, but we've noticed that sometimes the water break can change momentum for teams. They can, yeah. And, uh, look, you, you almost see mini halves developing in, 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 in one half of Hurland and football, you know, Hurling and football alike. Um, you know, uh, I know there was a couple of club games there in Loud that I seen, uh, especially in the Loud club hurling final between uh, Knockbridge and St. Feckins. That uh, you know, the, the two halves of hurling between the water breaks was very, very different. Um, you know, maybe Knockbridge, I know, were on top uh, in the opening couple of minutes in the hurling uh, final. And then as soon as the water break was called, the Feckins went on top. So you've sort of mini halves, if you like, developing uh, as a result of the water break. I don't know if it's something that I, if it's something that I would keep, but uh, yeah, it, certainly it, it it makes for it, it makes it makes it very interesting, no doubt, Paddy. Absolutely, there we had a foul there for. Uh on Darren Gagan and he would be taken at this one we would imagine the way he's hitting them today that this is going to be uh, pretty pedestrian for him yeah. he's you know it's well he's well well it's 20 metres inside yeah. his own range he's very very him. on he's on song today Gagan yeah definitely is need him to be if you're from a lead point of view I think maybe his fail of medal might have been won on this ground as he sends that one high. I'm just trying on memory there with my own gang at home. Yeah. But anyway, he converts and he has his fifth point off the afternoon, all coming from the place ball. But uh, five points is certainly a good haul as the quick one is taken. How it comes to Bart Nannery. Nannery goes far side, but it's not a good one when it comes to Gagan. Gagan has a man overlapping. Is he going to get it inside? He's still on the run. Gagan being chased down by Nannery. Still Gagan. He's going to pull the trigger now and try and convert. Well hooked there by Nannery. Well, that was good again. defense by yeah. Nannery. And the ball is flicked out. It looks as if that ball was over to the left and wide. In fact, it is. I don't even think Gagan knew his hole actually would hit the no. ground. Yeah. Knocked that one over the bar or over the end line. But certainly you would have imagined that um, with um, David Kettle in support. That maybe that was maybe where that one should have went. Here comes Keenan as he wins the puck out. Column Shane on his back. Column picks his pocket. Still Column as he throws it across now to a centre back end to Shalvey. Shalvey has it. Has options. He's going to go straight down the throat of the loud defence, but right down under the hand of the left half back Liam Malai. Malai has it, feeds it back to his full back Ronan Byrne. Byrne goes far side of the field, but he won't be happy with that one as Fred Williams has it. Fred Williams throws it down in towards the corner to the gunner. Gunner has it, picks it up, turns, shoots, and he sends her. High yeah, and straight over the bar. That's a good score from yeah, Philip Brady. Excellent. And it was good work from Shalvey and indeed by Fred Williams. But Ronan Byrne wouldn't just be happy with that clearance. He had time and he had space. Yeah, Fred Williams had far too much time and space from a lead point of view there. It was a good ball inside. He could have he could have been ambitious and, and took the score on himself, but he didn't. And it was a good ball inside and, and it was well finished off in the end by Philip Brady. It would be an impressive score. 
Colin Shannon gets it, had a bit of trouble with it. He has the advantage, it comes inside now to Kearney. It's Kearney is blocked down, but it's going to be a free. Fitzgerald is going to head out to take it. Colin Shannon was fouled that time. He had done well, but it looked as if maybe there was a little bit of a tug back. He had the advantage, and there was a chance for Jim at Kearney. Kearney was well blocked down there, in fairness, by the loud defender. I think the man, that man again, who's causing a lot of problems for Cavan, Liam Malai, yeah. was the man who done it. And now it'll be Fitzgerald on the halfway line. He is going to try and make it as now we have it uh, 11 pints to 5 or 1 8 to 5 pints in favour of the men from the wee county so now it will be Fitzgerald he'll be six, six, 66 metres out when he strikes this one mm -hmm. loud in control in most factors of this game yeah they'll be very impressive with their start you know they, they haven't uh, haven't lapsed in, in, in concentration or work rate since the resumption of the game after the first half water break uh, but they'll be very impressive with the start they'll be very impressive under the puck outs uh, Calvin getting a lot of time and space I, I tend to see uh, over the far side of the field there they might want to tighten that up fairly quickly as, as Brian Fitzgerald knocks that one over the bar a uh, good score from him but let it certainly be pleased with their start here good score from Fitzy Conley looking at his options he goes down, stands side of the field. Up they go. Gagan is lurking. Ball breaking off the hand of Bart Nannery. Comes to end to Shalvey. Shalvey has it. Shalvey <laughs> a challenge. But you couldn't blame your yeah, centre forward no. there, Shawnee Crosby. He's going to be maybe spoken about the referee. But, you know, if Paul McCormick saw him there, that he stepped away yeah. from that when he was yeah, going to be no, a ball. So. Yeah, it's, a, it's sort of a situation where you can't win no matter what you do. He's probably going to get a yellow card here. Uh, Shawnee, but he'd no other option there and he's the first player to go into the book he's the first player not a dirty game by any no. manner of means as Brian Fitzgerald maybe I'm not sure if this is in his uh, in his wheelhouse he's a good bit out he's probably well no, he's on 76 own, 77 yeah. metres on his own 65 so it would be, it would be yeah. he'll go for it I he's think going to go maybe it, drop yeah. it in around the house see if someone can get a touch on it well there's three just two two cabin players inside Sends her in. She's going to drop short. She is. Ball comes in. Comes off the hand there of the left half forward. Sean Keating. And it's going to be cleared down. But it's well blocked down as it was Gagan. It was blocked down there. Now it's the loud men as they try to come out. Maddie Fee has it. Maddie Fee coming out left side. Down it comes to that man that committed the foul. He's back in there. Crosby helping out. Back to Fee. Fee has it. Fee across the top. Top. He gets it to his corner forward. Phelan Joyce who started in the middle of the field. Being fouled by Colin Shannon. But... But I don't think the foul was maybe on Colin Shannon. He's having a full-blown conversation with. Yeah, Colin no, it was just it was Phelan. Phelan Joyce uh, was just held back there. It was a good decision from the referee, in my opinion. Uh, Joyce was just held back. As Linesman just, now, I think they're. Uh, yeah. Sean Keating uh, stopped Ronan Byrne from taking the quick free there, but the linesman, I think, is going to be talking to the to him there in his earpiece. So I'm not quite sure. Will that be a bookable offence? We'll see. Yeah, it was just silly, silly antics, really. Uh, yeah, sure I think that uh, I think yeah, they there's moved communication the forward, yeah. going on there. He's going to be looking so for number 12, I would up. imagine. Mm. It was silly. There's no need for a paddy, you know. Needless. No, in fairness, the linesman, he's given him the benefit yeah. of the doubt. Yeah. I think, in fairness, he's using common sense. Paul McCormick now having a chat with the referee, not quite sure. It was it's Ollie Bellew there. Ollie Bellew is having a, having a word with the cabin manager. Just getting a bit animated on the sideline there for the linesman's like him. My mistake. It's the yeah, red no. bib that put me <laughs> yeah, through me on that one. The two of them look quite similar from... From, yeah, but that's Ollie, yeah, that's Ollie all the way from. He's another man that came across and has done a mighty job down here, that's coming as he did as we interviewed him last week. He wasn't sent to the stand, was he? Was he? Pardon? He wasn't sent to the stand, was he? I think he perhaps is no? sent. He's back yeah, in behind back the sideline. Behind yeah. the barrier, yeah. So I think maybe it might be the linesman that he had words with. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Gagan from a long way really out. He's not going to be over the bar, I don't finish. think, this time. But no. it could be maybe worse than it's dangerous one. Square ball. Somebody was in there before the ball was struck. That's a difficult one to call, particularly in Ireland. Yeah. That ball came in there from all of 80 metres. But yeah, well, he was in a good position there, Colin McDonald to call it, and he's seen pretty adamant, so free out. Now, there is a dreary sun just after coming out, so it'll yeah. be interesting to see now just how that affects players as it beads down on the rise. Ball out to the middle of the field, up they come, ball is well fielded in there. That's a lovely piece of skill there inside there by the left corner forward, David Kettle, as he gets it back down now to Keenan. Keenan has it, tries to keep it in play, he's fouled. No, is it it's a line ball, or I think. Or is it a line ball? Yeah, I think it's a line ball. Yeah, Ali Bailey was trying to the stand there. We just see him walking up, the, or walking down the, the main stand here, so... Must just have just taken the variables a bit too far, Ali, on that occasion. So Keenan not happy with this one. Yeah. Sideline cut. Ball coming back up far side of the field. Down it comes to Carney. Carney off his left side. He goes in to corner forward. Killian Shane and Maddie Fee are up there for that one. Killian well, breaks it down, down to the down, yeah. centre back to Jamie McDonald. But it's only goes Brian Fitzgerald actually was the man that was up. Now Brian has it back again. 
Brian in comes to Carney, but Carney unable to get that one under control. It was a nice piece of hurl, a nice pass there by. Uh, the calf member that wasn't well read and it's in now to Phelan Jice. Jice has it, flicks it outside, outside to Liam Malai. Liam Malai way into the danger area. Dangerous ball and it didn't come to the scorer there. The man that's got the goal and it's another chance now by Matthews. Matthews has a chance, goes high and he's going to be sending her, I think, all to the left and wide. So that's the fifth wide for Loud. They'll be yeah, still happy enough. 26 wides. on the clock. 11 plays 6. We haven't had a score now for about four and a half minutes. Darren Shorten goes out left side of the field. Out to Freddie Williams. Freddie has it. Under control. Goes nice up touch. the left side. Nice touch indeed. Yes, up he comes now towards Carney again. Carney unable to get it under control. First time of asking. Has it the second time. Malai there with him. Tries to make a little bit of room. Sending it back inside. It's going to be a sideline puck to the Cavan man. Cut to Cavan. I would say Fred Williams would be the taker. Uh, he takes it quickly. Back it comes to Column Shane, and Column has it. Column loses it. Still, Column gets the little nudge from behind. Uh, Paul Matthews is there. Paul Matthews fixes it back to Gagan. Gagan now trying to make that little bit of room. He's going on left side now. Left side, it's shot. It's in. It's going to drop in. And it's going to drop in to Darren Shorten. He stops it from going over the bar. Still, Darren Shorten. Out it comes now to Kaelon Kelly. Kaelon Kelly has Fred Williams in support. Keeper did very well there, Paddy, especially with the glare and sun, did well to control it. Callum Shane and double on that one but it was well fielded there by Phelan Joyce Joyce has it Joyce has it goes down right side down into Paul Matthews country who's having a very influential game mm. Caelan Kelly out trying to beat him he flicks it across his head drops in the 20 metre line still Matthews he strikes it off his left side <coughs> and he sends it high and over the bar that's a good score Paul Matthews is playing very well out on that wing yeah, he's causing a lot of he's causing the the Calvin full back line a lot of difficulty. He seems to be op operating in, inside there, and uh, he's getting on to an awful lot of ball on that right hand side, and he's making good use of it for loud so far. Very influential performance. Uh, that was a kind of a, a gift score there, Stephen. Yeah. Calvin had been very wasteful with that uh, when they were in possession of that on a couple of occasions. Ball up, ball coming down, dropping. Sean Keaton is fouled. Sean Keaton wins the free. Uh, he laments with the referee, but he has his free got. He was did well. He was brave under that ball. Fitzgerald making his way out now to take this one. Cavan would need this score. It's 12 points to 6, 27 and change, almost 28 on the clock, plus added time. So we have about seven minutes, plus we have a water break and maybe an injury or two. So we have lots of time left for Cavan to get closer. But, of course, there's also a chance for Loud to push that lead out. So Fitzgerald... Uh, unsuccessful in one shot from here very early mm. on but now that he's maybe into the flow of the game we'll see how he's going that player as we said Stephen is certainly causing problems for both teams yeah and as I said as I mentioned there that, that ball uh, sent in Darren Sheridan did very well uh, to, to, to control that it'll be just difficult for um, it'll just be di more difficult here for Fitzgerald for because the sun is in his eyes low trajectory struck it well, sends that one again to the yeah, right, to and, the right wide. and wide so the sun could could uh, could very well prove a factor here in the, in the closing minutes of this first half Conley Donal right side ball coming off the hurl there of Matthew Hines comes as far as Ryan Walsh Ryan Walsh is there Ryan Walsh is shot, tackled there but Still comes to Ryan Walsh. He's going to send her into the danger area. The man that scored it, Mackin has it. Ooh. Mackin has it, then lose it. Out comes Crudden. Crudden doubling on that one. It's going to be coming back in. He's fouled there as Crudden went to advance there. He was blocked off and wins his free. Down again there. We have a loud man. I don't think it's Ryan. Was it Ryan Walsh again? Uh, I'm not sure. It might, Maybe Paul is Matthews. It, is it uh, Paul? Just struggling to see the number there. It yeah. does seem to be... The colour of the helmet. But one yeah. question there, Stephen. You, you're a man that has done coaching and involved with hurling all your life. Mm. When that ball comes in and it's going over the bar, is is years. it that the, mm. the keeper should really let it go over? Is that the, the 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 general? If you were coaching, what do you tell them to do? Is that ball is cleared down by Jamie McDonald? Yeah, well, you could tell them to do one or two things. You could uh, tell them to let it go over the bar and immediately look for your options in 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 terms of the pocket. Uh, or in a tight situation like this, in a tight game, in a, in a, in a, in a winner-take-all game where a lot is at stake, prevent scoring at, at all Mackin's times. on it. He has a chance of a goal number two. He sends her in, it's and he sends her up to the left and wide. Yeah, just nice. drag that one wide. He won't be happy with that one, but that was poor clearance again by Cav. An over-elaboration at the back, yeah. and certainly they could have been penalised there. They could have been penalised with a big three-pointer. They weren't, and that's a little bit of a let-off for them as the ball comes out there to the halfback, Anthony Shorten. Anthony Shorten is there. That was good. Uh, as yeah. cleared down as it does, but Shalvi has it and Shalvi getting it back upside now to the midfielder Hines Hines going in down right side but it's not a good one and Fee is out and first and has it comes inside now to Killian Shannon or rather Sean Keaton Sean Keaton goes in long high ball in dropping around the keeper but the keeper Conley very confidently yeah. catches it and goes out left side out to his left full back Andrew McCrave McCrave has it throwing it back inside but again did very well did but very the first well time was asking he had lost it 
Ball downfield there. Across the head of Colm Shannon. Anthony Shorten has it. Still Anthony Shorten. Anthony Shorten in sort. He comes to his midfielder, Hines. Hines getting it back inside to Keaton. Keaton has it. Keaton still has it. And it's going to be a line ball to Cavan. Sean Keaton there got the line ball. A little bit of argy pargy yeah, with himself there and Manny Fee, but not a whole pile in it. Referee telling everyone to calm there. Stall the digger. Colin McDonald trying to calm everything down. Sideline cut. Brian Fitzgerald will take it. Um, close contact there of uh, various kinds, but nothing really in it, Stephen. No, nothing. It's been a clean enough game of Holland so far, you'd have to say, Paddy. Um, very little in that for me. A bit of handbags, as you mentioned, but the linesman just is bringing something to the attention of the referee here. It'll be interesting to see what comes of it. Yeah, 31 and change on the clock. The linesman is talking to Colm, and uh, Colm is going to uh, look to take note. Is he going He's to call for some out, number? Yeah. He's a notebook out. Something's going on. I think it is. Uh, is it Keenan he's calling over? I think it is. Is it Niall is going to be spoken yeah. to? Seems to be. Meanwhile, Brian Fitzgerald is about to take it, but I'm sure there's no point in taking it until the referee has his mm -hmm. paper done. Until blown, yeah. Yellow, Yellow card. card. I think it is. It's now Brian Fitzgerald. Yeah, it is Niall Keenan who's received that yellow card there, second it again. That's two bookings for Loud now. Not a good one. Inside it comes through Matthew Hines. And on the attack is Ryan Walsh. Ryan Walsh playing it back to Crosby. Crosby loses it. Crosby being shadowed by Fiacre Hughes, but still Crosby does well, made space for himself, had it lost it, and a nice flick pass downfield oh. it comes. Not good play there, though. However, uh, as Ender Shalvey picks the pocket of David Kettle, David Kettle had possession there. Shalvey picked up a knock on the ankle in the process there. Seems to be a little bit ginger. Malai has it. Malai blocked down there. And it's going to be well cleared downfield. That's a great bit of defending there by the left full-back, McCrave. McCrave getting it down into the corner. Down into the corner it comes, and Mackin wins the free. It's going to be a free in and a chance there now, no doubt from Gagan, to convert here and bring it back to the 1-9 plays 6. So he's looking to make it. We have 12 playing 6. He'll be looking to make it a 7-point game. Yeah, Mackin did very well in his attempt to just uh, hold on to possession there, just to fend off the, the, the incoming challenge of it. I think it was uh, Bart Narny in the, on, on his back there. Yeah, Bart Narny came yeah. in. There was no real need for that one because you no. know, he, he had a lot of work to do, yeah. uh, Mackin had. But it was good good play, made possible yeah. by Been the brave play, play of McRae. Yeah, yeah, done yeah. very well and he kept in play despite the best attempts of the Cavan lads to push him out across the line or to shoulder him out legally across the line. Difficult so enough angle here for Darren Gagan, but the wind should aid him if he tries to uh, curl it in uh, right to left as we look at it he sends out your yeah, call it yeah. right just left it a little bit out he he probably hit her maybe a little bit low but yeah the, the trajectory of the ball was a little bit low the ball, yeah. wind was if we took her down purely to physics that, yeah Darren Shorten goes out, stands side of the field. Up they go does Matthew Hines, but unable to get that one. Keenan has it, the man on the yellow card. He's playing well. He's getting it inside to Mackin again. Mackin out in front. Still Mackin has time, bends, but unable to get that one. Good defender. Nannery has it. Yeah. Nannery getting it back inside. Cutting back inside is Colm Shane, and Colm needs to exert more influence on this game now because he has the ability of no doubt. Ball broken inside, inside there now. Man that has it now is... Brian Fitzgerald Brian Fitzgerald has it Brian Fitzgerald leaves it now it's going to be Killian Shane and still Killian Shane as he tricks flicks it inside it's going to be a chance now for Brian Fitzgerald that was good play by Fitzgerald it was good play by Killian Shane and he slipped a nice little hand pass to Carney yeah. Carney was fouled Carney wins the free Fitzgerald should convert this one Cavan needed uh, Stephen yeah absolutely did need uh, just to cut the deficit as much as they can heading into the half time break we're about 30 seconds or so left until time's up you'd imagine it would be 3 or 4 minutes of stoppage time um, with the bookings and injuries etc and of course the water break added into that as well but it was good interchange and play from Cavan there on that occasion Paddy nice patient play uh, and the, the experience of Fitzgerald here and, and the, the likes of Fitzgerald was shown through there on that occasion as he lines up this free yeah, it was all made possible there. Colm Shannon kind of exerted uh, himself upon the game. He, he forced himself in the game as he sends that one in and he sends it over the bar. Good score for him, Fitzy. It's his fourth and it's Cavan's seventh. Two additional, Two additional, Two additional minutes. minutes. Yep. Maybe a bit slow there, a bit shy on that one as Conley prepares to take the puck out. But yes, as we said, Colm needs to become more and more into this game. Midfield there, Cavan are losing that battle. Ball flicked inside and it's Fred Williams trying to get to it. Fred has had it, lost it. Now it's Phelan Joyce. Phelan Joyce has it and then in turn he has it. Shawnee Crosby has it. Crosby flicking it outside towards that man, Matthews, again. But it's going to be inside there and it's going to be a free out. Man that's fouled is Caelan Kelly. Man that commits the foul is Paul Matthews. But in fairness, there was nothing really in it. It was two men going full-blooded for the ball. But... Um, 
There was a chance there for Laird. The first touch let them down. Yeah, just first time. It's been an element of this first half for Laird. The first touch just letting them down uh, uh, time after time. It looked to push up that at half time. But again, uh, just a good defender from Cavan. A uh, chance to clear the ball and a chance to put another score on the board heading into the break. Anthony Shorten, I think, is the man who's going to be the taker back in there. Up they go. Fierke Hughes unable to get to it. Ball, ball dropping kindly for the loud men. The loud men unable to get to it. Man to stay as Matthew Hines. But it comes back now for McCrave. McCrave sending her into the danger area. He has Mackin. Mackin. Oh, lovely flick, pal. Up it comes there to Kettle. Kettle on the run. Kettle shoots and Kettle scores. That's a good score. That's possibly the best team score of the game so far. Yeah, very good score there. Very good team score, as you mentioned there. Paddy David Kettle took a score very well. He's a great burst of pace about him, David Kettle. And he, he tends to create that little bit of space that a forward needs just to take a score. And he did so on that occasion yeah Great but it was a lovely little, just yeah, absolutely slip, yeah. a lovely little pass there coming from Mackin Mackin did well he has a goal and he's uh, an opportunist goal but that, in that case that assist he will very be happy to take that when Joyce has it Joyce being shadowed by Hines across the head of Crosby but it's going to again the little bit of rub of the green comes to Ryan Walsh Walsh has it chasing down Walsh is Fred Williams Walsh going off his left side is he going for another score drop it into Darren Shorten Darren Shorten has it Darren yeah, Shorten has it but now Darren Shorten receiving a knock there yeah nasty um, collision just into the chest yeah bit it was of a accidental. swing there inside yeah. with that man I know he's I'm not saying it was a dirty swing or any of that but I'd say there might be a card here I'm not sure Stephen could be yeah could, uh, Colin McDonald could speak to his umpires here he could see it as careless use of the hurley which is a yellow card um, he's just going in to speak to his umpires as we speak I think he could could be fortunate here to escape the yellow card as you mentioned Paddy just it was see, it seemed to be a careless just careless use of the hurley careless swing there as as uh, as Sheridan took 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 possession into to possession of the slither into his chest and Colin McDonald does in fact have the notebook out and he's set to book him. Now on the clock we have 37 and change but of course that, that would say that we are now uh, past the stoppage time but I'm sure that with the Bukens and with the stop and play there'll probably be one more play in this half. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, yellow uh, card there. Yeah, so, you know, it's not over yet. Uh, 13 points plays 7. It's a 6 point game. Darren Shorten with the free. Still a lot of hurling to be played as the Cavan are still well in the game. A slight wind advantage to come. Referees going for in the second the half time whistle. Oh, so here it. at the half time yeah. at Kingspan Breffney, 110 plays 7. Myself and uh, Stephen Yore. Stephen, of course, with the name like Yore, there has to be a bit of Karen Ross. <laughs> that Karen Ross to Kells, <laughs> Carlin's Town. Although he tells me he's a Dramiskin man. Yeah. Uh, just a quick uh, update on the, how the football is going. Was Common 6, Mayo 15 or 112 in Leinster. Uh, Longford 112, Leash 110, that's at Pierce Park. Mead 3 9 to 5. Offaly and Kinclair yet to tip off, and uh, I think Down have just got a goal, so they're now 1 8 to 8 points. So we'll be back uh, for the second half for myself here and Stephen Yore. Uh, so, Stephen, you're happy enough with proceedings for the Loudmen? Yeah, Loud will be happy enough for the first half. They've been really the happier the two teams heading into it. Look, they've been very competitive on the puckouts, um, they've been breaking, uh, breaking a lot of ball. As I mentioned there in the first half, towards the latter stages, they've just been. Um, They've just been, you know, the first touch has let them down uh, on a couple of occasions. Um, you know, the midfield is getting onto a lot of ball uh, in the final third there. They haven't been as clinical as maybe they could be. Uh, but uh, Cavan as well will, will be pleased with the position they're in, um, despite Loud being the happier of the two teams, which they would be in the first half. Uh, there's still a lot of hurling to be played, and Cavan, with that slight wind advantage in the second half, will believe that they're well in the game. Yeah, the wind is playing right to yeah. left as we look down on the field, and it always kind of, the wind, when it comes that way, it normally plays just down into that corner, so it doesn't mm. really come yeah. straight down the field. It blows towards the town, but blows towards maybe the, where the Royal School is, that, that kind of corner of the field. Mm. That's the, the normal thing. Cross as field breeze, Donald, yeah. Uh, Connolly and others make their way off to, to the sideline and down in front here we have Ali Bellew here and I'm sure the selectors uh, Bricker and Co as they try and decide what's the best way forward the referee now making his way in for the I suppose the cup of tea and yeah. you know although it's, it's great it's, to see it's up it's here uh, now, conditions are good conditions yeah. are good and um Look at it's all to play for in the second half from myself and Stephen we'll just take a short break and we will return God
now, Stephen, now they're yet to make their way back out on the field. But give us a little bit of this old DNA now, because, I mean, as I say, I would live close to the Mead Bother and up around that Conor Ross country, we had a serious amount of yours. Everybody in Conor Ross. Yo. <laughs> well, no, uh, well, my, my father would be uh, Dramiskin through and through, born and bred. Um, I couldn't tell you now. I, I, I do know that Conor Ross is mentioned in the family quite a lot. Uh, but uh, my sort of background would be Dramiskin Dover area. Uh, there would also be yours in Loud Village and um, down the country somewhere as well. I couldn't tell you. Uh, I couldn't tell you where. But Dramiskin uh, would be my my sort of background. Um, my knowledge of it isn't great. I haven't studied the family tree or anything. Maybe that's something for for down the line. Uh, but uh, that you learn something new every day, Paddy. And an old man out, there, an old buddy of mine, not an old man, and an old buddy of mine from Dramiskin, he died tragically in New York on a fire many years ago. P- Benny Smith, decent man. Mm. He was Dramiskin. The Smiths, uh, the Smiths will be good footballers. Yeah. With the, yeah, with the local club there, the Joes. Yeah. The Joes. Yeah. yeah um, the Joes. The As I said to you earlier, before we came on air, I was uh, they tried to educate me in Kalostanev Mihal. <laughs> Yeah. You know, meet. I went to St Michael's or meet the school that closed down in 1996. Tried the I keyboard was there. there as a I was there in uh, uh, from '75. I done the, f- the 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 '75 on, and uh, uh, once in a while, the late Father Kenny used to get a few of us if he thought we were handy enough at the big ball. <laughs> He'd get us uh, to 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 line out with the with the kickums uh, on the 16 and minor level. So we wouldn't necessarily have been playing under our own name, but that was a time you could. And a time when you could do those things, uh, Stephen. So that's I would uh, always have uh, an affinity for for the wee county. And as, I believe you, we owe you we owe you a medal, Paddy. Yeah, I yeah. think that uh, maybe maybe seventy seven or seventy eight. There's a loud minor championship medal. It mightn't have my name on it, but the name that I played on there might be there. But again, right. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if the statue of limitations ever runs out on that. You know, so well, Father Ken, fa- Father Father Kenny, Lord rest him, was a, was a Galway man yeah. right on the West Common border. Uh, he was based in Mel and then in uh, the Lourdes Hospital before he passed away a couple of years ago. But yeah, he had a few of us uh, that used to come back during the summer holidays and, and uh, play a game. He'd shoot down in the old four Granada and myself and a fellow from Castletown Gagan uh, used, to, used to line out for the Kickhams. And uh, as I said, the Loud County Board can can give me that medal now, Stephen. I don't know. I'm willing to pay for it now. Yeah, no, I'll get on to it if you've had any no bother at all. Yeah, no bother. <laughs> Yeah, Fitz, I would. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Like, we got him I, over after the game. Where is he? I see him over there now. Yeah, I lost. A f- I yeah. lost a few of them. <laughs> I lost a few of them here in Cavan. So that's the only one that I. Uh, yeah, I think Nave Breacher were the, were, the, were the victims. A great wee county and a great tradition and uh, a great county for sport in general. And uh, yeah, it's great to see them coming along. And now you see this new development, and that I'm sure will make a huge difference. Absolutely, Paddy. Yeah. Well, it, look, it's 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 been long standing. The uh, you know, it's it's a long standing frustration, if you like to put it that way, Paddy. That yeah. there's no no real ground in in Loud, but uh, seem to be making great progress on the ground that's had to be developed on in in Dundalk, just behind the DKIT Sport Complex yes. there. So yeah. um, hopefully now all going well. He's also that picked me pocket uh, too, Stephen. Uh, oh, uh, a number go. of years yeah. ago. Uh, <laughs> Uh, involved with under 10s here with uh, one of the local clubs outside the town here Kiligary and uh, I had three or four brothers the oldest of which was a teak tough defender right. they left and the father had a job maybe over in the hospital and they left I think maybe they, he plays with St Kevin's and he won a yes, junior St. championship maybe too. Yeah, yeah. a man by the name of Aaron Khan so right. it's not oh, too many yes, Khan's yes, playing yes, well Aaron yes, Khan is yes, a Kiligary man yes, yes, I on a, him this and if, year. You look, if you look at his profile on social media he still has the red and black up uh, Aaron, Aaron Khan he was a tenacious little player I'll tell you one yes. he, uh, he'd soften your call for he you. started cornerback for the Kevins this year in the Intermediate Football Championship yeah. loud. I commentated yeah. on him a few times yeah, yeah. Well, you're the name rings about learned, learned, all he did, learned all he has from, from, from you Paddy no doubt now Column so is <laughs> yeah. Column is ready to throw in and we had about 8 men in there for the throw in in the middle of the park that red helmet I didn't notice it on and that's because it's a substitution on the Cavan side he's wearing number 21 and it's Jack Barry I think it is but I'm not quite sure who he's replacing. To. Somebody's going to be spoken to there. Number 21 for Cavan is Sean, Sean, yeah, Sean, Sean McGill. McGill. Sean yeah. McGill. Sean McGill. So we'll bring you up to date shortly on who he's replaced. I'll have a wee scout around. As I said, nobody informed us. So when we know, you'll yeah. know. Yeah, absolutely. So Brian Fitzgerald with a chance now to bring it back. 
that little bit closer. 13 plays 7, 6 point game. He's trying to get it down to a 5 point game. I think it's Philip Brady is the man who has picked up the knock. Yeah, the gunner is the man that got the knock. The linesman's in here again, Colin, just uh, or uh, bringing, in the, bringing um, something to the attention of Colin McDonnell and he's going to speak to David Kettle, who tends to be a bit careless sometimes. So the man that's gone off is Fiocre Hughes. Fiocre Hughes yeah. is the man who was called to show the centre forward. Fiocre was possibly one of our better players last week. It just didn't work out from here today. Now I think he had picked up a knock in the very towards the end of Probably last week's a precautionary game. He was a very, very yeah. busy, yeah. very, very busy player last weekend on the it's 40. David Kettle picks up a yellow card there, Paddy. So David got the yellow card himself and Anthony Shorten there are staying very tight to each other. 15 and three, 5. Three players booked now for Loud. Three players in the book cautioned each of them as Brian Fitzgerald lines up this free now. Just short of the 45 will be 45 as he takes it. 45 out. And he converts, I do believe, with the linesman bends the back and heads for there. So Fitzy has his fifth point. Uh, he has a couple of miscues, but uh, I'd rather be playing with him than without him. And out again comes Donald Connolly, left side of the park. Up they go. Ball breaks. Going to break for loud, I do believe. McGill trying to intercept, but the ball is going to come to that danger man, Gagan, as he flicks her out. In around the full forward area. Macken oh, has it. Oh, that's what Matthews. you want. Matthews going for his second score of the day. And nice score. It's gone over the bar. That's a good score. Brilliant. Yeah, Jermaine great hand. The up, won it first time, yeah. no messing. Great hand there from Paul Matthews. Good work from Gagan on the far side. Good clever, clever play and great ball inside. Nice chest tight for Matthews and done well to take a score on his left. Darren Shorten with the puck out. It's into the bread basket of McGill. McGill has it. Turns, send her into the right corner in towards Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald has Shannon peeling off, but he's in the danger area. Going to go for a score, but it's well blocked down by Ronan Byrne. That's a great clearance by Ronan Byrne also. Up they go. Up they go. Now it's come trapped through to Kettle Kettle leaves it for Keenan Keenan has it on his left side down into danger area to Mackin Mackin has it second time of asking still Mackin taking a look at his options normally a good deliverer of the ball he has it still Mackin loses it and back in now to Fred Williams Fred Williams trying to pick her up unable to do so still Williams ball is a little bit <coughs> well let's just say clustered down there the man comes away with Colm Shannon Colm Shannon has it Colm Shannon was fouled and it's going to be an advantage, I think, that was played there, Stephen. Yeah, advantage played, yeah. There was just a little bit of holding in that scrummage there. Free out to Calvin, correctly awarded, in my opinion. Colin McDonald right in the spot. Free taken quickly out on this far side, but it's going to fall to Liam Malai. Straight to Liam Malai. Malai has it. He's going to send her downfield now, or rather he sent her back inside to... Paul Max is just... Uh, Phelan, yeah. Joyce, and back inside now to Kevin, Kaelin, Kelly, Kaelin, Kelly to Fred Williams. Fred Williams has it, Fred comes off, Fred Williams' boot as it dropped on his foot, he was well hooked there, I think the man that hooked him was Paul Matthews, putting in a serious work rate, now it's going to be Ryan Walsh, I thought maybe the way Matty Fee was taking these in the warm-up, or yeah. before the warm-up, <laughs> that he'd be coming up to take this one, it was around this spot that he hit her over the blue spot, as we say here. Number four, Dara Madding is replacing number two, Bart Nannery, four for two, Cavan. Substitution on the Cavan team now, as we were told there. You heard yeah. it probably yourself. Dara Madden is coming on. He's replacing the other cornerback, number two, Bart Nannery. So four for two. Walsh with the sideline cut. Fine sideline cut. It's caught inside there by Ender Shalvey. Ender Shalvey's foul free out. Darren Shorten will be the taker. Yeah, Kevin well in this game. Uh, Kevin well in this game. Paddy the gap now 14 8. So uh, it's it's very far. With, if it's well within their reach now if they can get a score or two to start off the second half obviously four and a half minutes gone but Cavan have started uh, Cavan have started well here referee had stopped play there I think it was a substitution that hadn't gone off the field in time uh, he's gone to the book now I think that's only just writing in the name of the player who was introduced so Darren Shorten I think will have to take this again it's a free not a puck out and free the just to the edge of the square too, now it's Stephen, yeah. just with that glare and sun Comes down to the middle of the field, slightly towards the stand side. They're all up. McGill trying to flick it on, but it's that man, Joyce. But Joyce has the pocket picked, trying to get it in there. It was a free there. The hand was being held there, and right away, an impression is made there by the man who's introduced a number four for two, as we said, and uh, Dara Madden. But uh, the harmless free, Stephen, stupid free. Yeah, there, careless really. enough. Yeah, there, were, not, there wasn't really any danger lurking there on that occasion, but uh, Cavan will take it, no doubt. It was well spotted by Colin McDonald. His positioning was excellent, and there was a few variables there which seen the ball brought up 13 metres. Yeah, they could. Needless. What was it? You know, what was a difficult enough free? Yeah, know, yeah. Maybe a seven out of ten becomes maybe a mm. you know. Yeah. 
nine out of ten, nine and a half yeah, in the form half, in the form that Brian Fitzgerald is at this afternoon. He should slot this over, and if I was Donald Connolly, I'd be looking at my options straight away for the puck out. Yes, Donald is taking a look. He's maybe just the way that he's reacting. I'm just saying that maybe that uh, he's taking his time. And other than a sub in number now. 14, Andrew Mackin. 24 for 14, Lyle. So a Knockbridge man comes in for 14. I thought Mackin was quite effective in that game. Uh, he may not have been, you know playing every minute of the half type yeah. of thing but I thought that he was quite influential he was in for his goal and he set up a couple of scores Stephen yeah good performance from Andy Mackin yeah he'll be very very impressed he's a bit displeased there of being uh, taken off but uh, an effective performance for him nonetheless and he, he'd be very happy with us uh, Gavin Carrigan coming in son of the great Aiden the late great Aiden uh, and he'd love to have an impact on the, uh, on the game being a nuisance inside there Jim McCarney gets timber on that one but only to send it out across the sideline a sideline cut to the men from up close to the Armagh border and all the way down to the Mead border. You won't mention that name. A fine cut it is and in it Red comes punch. there to that man Kettle again. But this time pocket is picked by Colin Shannon. They're all up, ball breaking. Now it's Killian Shannon. Still Killian. Sells the shimmy. Hand through the hand. He gets it inside to Fitzgerald. One cooler man to another. So that's been three cooler men. The cooler man is fouled. Out close to the line. Yeah, didn't see Again. that much in it there on that Moved occasion. in there, Stephen, yeah. for a bit of descent, but I thought maybe that the, the loud defender was a little bit harshly penalised. Yeah, I would say so, Carl. I think uh, Brian Fitzgerald sort of just lost his foot in there and sort of dived into the challenge. He's got it free nonetheless, and Lays will pay the price here because Verbal's again. Very, very needless. As, as soft as the free was, uh, you know, you, you don't be you don't be given dissent and, and given the referee an opportunity to bring the ball for 13 meters, especially uh, into a more advantageous position, especially with Brian Fitzgerald uh, within within the ranks of Calvin, who's 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 on song here and is uh, undoubtedly going to knock this one over the bar. And he does That's so exactly what he does so, but a little bit maybe like the Liam Malloy free in the yeah. first half, you know, yeah. kind of slipped under the tackles. Uh, so Calvin now. Putting the push on, but it does look like Donald Conley's under no major panic there, nope. so I'm sure that's coming from the sideline as he prepares to take the puck out. He goes out left side of the field, terrace side of the field, Anthony Shorten getting timber on it. It's going to come towards Phil the Gunner. Philip the Gunner now still has it. Flicking it across to Dara, or rather inside that Dara is Dara Madden. Madden has it, Madden loses it. Back inside is Sean McGill. So too there now is Matthew Hines. Going to be left inside there for Killian Shane, and pockets are picked, and it's going to be back out now towards Carney. Carney unable to get to it. It was fantastic walk right there. Keenan is there, sideline. The ball was out. Niall Keenan says, and Niall Keenan goes down there. Now, I don't think there was much in that. Yeah, no, but there wasn't uh, at all, no. But it's fantastic. The linesman is... It's fantastic work right there from Cavan, you know, especially in the last few minutes. They're really, really up in the tempo here. And Loud, Loud are starting to struggle in, in the last couple of minutes. It's Cavan's game here at the minute. As uh, There's just a few of it. Oh, a bit of argy bargy there. Lee Malloy's gone down like a uh, pack of spuds. Lou, uh, Liam Malloy is in yeah. the wars again but I don't think again there was much in it and no. I know Killian Shannon was there but he's getting pushed and shoved Colin and his big brother right Colin was coming yeah. in there to defend the, the show uh, sure but there was, was nothing really in that, in that. No, yeah. uh, Liam is too good of a hurler now but yeah. he's up and he's grand so Anthony Shorten is going to be the taker Matthew Hines is he's looking yeah. maybe at a joint the shoulder joint there is maybe taking a bit of a he seems to be okay, yeah, just getting a bit of physio work done there. Oh, the Not a good, good one. Occasion. Well, yeah. struck there by yeah. Keenan. Good play, good hurling. Walsh on it, still Walsh, been shadowed by Madden. Nice flick in to Gagan, you would imagine Gagan now in the danger area. Still Gagan as he turns, shoots and he leaves that one over the bar, I would say, from here. Yeah, up to his good Nailed score. This. Yeah, very good score from Tower Gagan, difficult that enough angle. That might be his first score from play on my count. I'm not quite sure. You're probably keeping a tighter eye on it. But yeah, it well, I think it was, I think he might have got one 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 point from play in in the first half. So that, but it's definitely his first his first score from play in the second half, and it was a good score too. Very tight angle, uh, hadn't much time and space. It was good pressure incoming, but took, did well there to take a score. Keenan did very well in fairness in position yeah. early after the, and Keenan breaks that one down again, and away we come with Joyce. Joyce on it, and he's has open ground in front of him. Still Powerful Joyce runner. flicks her down on the left side, off the left side, and in towards that sub Kerrigan Kerrigan has it off his left side from a difficult angle and he sends her high and straight yeah. and over the bar that's a it's good a score from the left side off his left shoulder that was a good score yeah brilliant uh, brilliant there from Calvin Kerrigan that's what he's very good at uh, tends to get the ball in hand and knows what the posts are and a very very well taken score there off his left sort of swung in it but it was accurate and over the bar he won't care once it's over 
Yes, we were at a, we were at a four point game and right away we're back up to the six point game. On the attack, there they are. Malai is there, but the man that has it now is the left full. The left full McCrave has it. He's McCrave, yeah. tackled inside there. The ball is in there. The ruck is in there. It's hard just to know what's going on. We'll tell you when somebody comes out with it. And it's still in there. There, Carney's there. So too now. I think the man is in there. It's Jamie McDonald. He flicks it back to Ronan Byrne. Ronan Byrne is in. Ronan Byrne, but it was an advantage there and it's going to be a free to loud. It's just outside the 45 metre line on their side of the field. It's a free taker, I would say, it would be Ronan Byrne. Seems to get good timber on it there at that Absolutely. full back. Yeah, yeah, very impressive hurler, Ronan Byrne. Uh, veteran at this stage of Loud Hurling. Um, dual player as well, plays his football with the Sean O'Mahony's, uh, but a great hurler and always was Ronan. Very, very solid full back. And, uh, I think he's going to line up this free now. Probably could be, uh, maybe could be in his range, but I'd, I'd expect him to, to drop it, to drop it, uh, to drop it down. He needs a new stick. Now I think he's looking needs for timber. Hurl. Yeah, he's he needs another bit of ash out there. Yeah. So he needs a, another hurley, and it's. I'm sure it'll be taken into consideration, Colin yeah. Donnelly. He can't make a man hit it without a hurl, so obviously he'll be taken. Uh, you know that into consideration in his time we have almost 12 minutes on the clock as Ronan makes his way back out so Ronan you're calling him a veteran will he be happy with that now is he uh, uh, no I'd say he would be yeah, no, he's, he's, been, he's been fairly around the block like Ronan would have been part of the panels that would have lost four Nicky Rackard Cup finals uh, in, in, in quick succession there in, in the in the early 2000s as the shot comes in there I think it was oh, Paul Matthews, Matthews was it yeah it was deflected it was done very well there the keeper does well Inside now it's Fred Williams. Fred Williams is there. It's getting it outside now to Jeremy Carney. Jeremy trying to turn and with limited space there clears it, but only as far as allowed, man. That time Phelan Joyce unable to keep it in play. The man that's there now is Killian Shane. And Killian Shane has it going for score from distance. Sends a high, sends a straight. And does he send it out to the left and wide? He'd be disappointed with that, Killian Shane. And yeah, he had plenty of time and space there to pick a score. Probably took a little bit too much out of the ball. Uh, but again, the walk rate of Cavan, very, very impressive in this second half so far, Paddy. Yeah, Connolly outs right down the centre of the field. They're all up, ball breaking off the hand of jo the hurl of Joyce, pulled on there by Carney, but only as far as Jamie McDonald. Jamie McDonald sends her down, but broken up there. Now it's going to be the Cavan who, uh, Shalvey, who sends her down, comes off the hurl of McGo, down into the corner, but there's nobody there, only the centre back, home, yeah. Jamie McDonald. McDonald has there loads of time. Down to meet him there is Killian Shane, and Jamie coming out right side towards Crosby. Crosby is there, so too, though. Was Darren the free? Yeah, very, very he's, uh, he's a cagey boy. Yeah, very streetwise, uh, very streetwise player there. Very streetwise player. Um, again, James the walk Costello rate. is replacing number 11, Shawnee Crosby. 17 for 11, loud. Yeah, so James Costello just had to run the free there, as you hear. But, uh, yeah, another impressive, uh, another impressive passage of walk rate from Cavan. The walk rate is exceptional in this second half so far, Paddy. They're really, really making diff life difficult for loud, especially in them scrummages. Uh, and they're, they're, they're coming out and top in most 50 50 50s uh, early on the water break not too far away now later would look to regroup yeah Fitzy sends her over the bar I would have to say though I think that Cavan need a goal to get really oh, they do. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. They're, now they're just you know they're, they're filing back they're filling the spaces but they think that the goal is going to have to come if Cavan had to stay in the Larry Maher Cup yeah uh, loud, loud are keeping them at arm's length but that's something that uh, Loud have found difficult especially in the latter stage of the games when they've they tended to keep teams at arm's length Darren Madden trying to keep that in play, unable to do so. Kettle had it, Kettle lost it, but in the process of trying to keep it in play, Darren Madden went out across the line, a sideline cut, and it's that man, Matty Fee, that I spoke about before the yeah. game starts. Maybe he's going to have the commentator's uh, course, yeah. but certainly uh, he looked very, very capable yeah, in the you, early going. And you mentioned the words, uh, you know, unable to do so there. Um, Paddy, that's something Louth have been unable to do, um, especially throughout the league campaign. Once they have teams at arm's length, they tend to struggle to keep them at that, especially in the latter stages of the game. It's a lovely cut there from Matthew Fee. Inside and well, well, getting the hand on that one was Gagan. It's going to be Madden again, isn't it? No, it's going to be Shalvey, I think. The man that had it, and this time it's Madden who clears it downfield. It was Hines, in fact, but only as far as Jamie McDonald. Seems to be playing as a kind of a sweeper there in the second half. In it comes to Kerrigan. Kerrigan with space out towards him is Crudden. He has got a man in support. That man has failed him. Joyce. Joyce has a chance to convert, and he sends her high and he sends her straight and straight down and bending the back at 114 to 11 points. Back to a six point game as Keenan there took a nudge in the back. Seems to be up and running. Yeah. He ran it off there nothing like a good score for your team there to improve an out injury yeah great feeling and position there for Phelan Joyce just to create the time and space for himself to, pu uh, to, to pick that score right on again impressive work from Gavin Carrigan he's a similar enough hurler Gavin Carrigan to Andrew Mack and loves to uh, create space uh, and very good at scoring opportunities as well great asset for Loud to have off the bench 
Cale and Kelly but again it's Matthews it has a Paul Matthews Paul Matthews going for a score and he has his third point no nope, he leaves it in he as Darren Shorten has it Darren Shorten has it going to meet him there as is the Kerrigan Ooh. but uh, there was uh, nothing I given nothing asked I think asked the there. referee was half thinking of giving a charge there yes. the, the whistle sort of went to the mouth and he sort of he, he was reluctant then I think it was a chop in there chop in there I would yeah. have thought that that was a free coming out the other way but Kitty and Shannon had looked to, yes it is a free to loud yeah uh, is, uh, I think the man that is talking to the referee is Philip Brady yeah, but I think there might have been a chop down I think the referee yeah, got that one right yeah, in fairness he was, he was spot on yeah uh, just a couple of scores in for those of you that maybe are just tuned into this game just to give you a couple of scores I know maybe small ball people but for those that are interested uh, Mayo down in the Hyde have won 19 points to 13 or a goal in six, uh, 16 to that early start of course stood to them and meanwhile back at the ranch here has Kettle he's still out in the corner but he's well blocked down inside there by uh, Matthew Hines and a shot there he could be in bother here now uh, has he a yellow I think he may be he on. Is. is he on a yellow he is on a yellow this could be trouble this here because be it was very, very him. careless there from David Cattle. There was no real need for it. The ball, it wasn't really in a treacherous position. Yeah, he, uh, he's in trouble here. I think he's he's beginning his walk, David Cattle, and it was just it was a rush of blood. He's gone. That's it. Gone. Yeah, yeah. I think he he, he can't have any real. No, he can't know, have he any can't complaints about complaints that. It was it, it was it was careless and it was a rush of blood there. He was maybe a bit frustrated yeah. after kind of losing primary possession. And it was just it was Darren Short again. prepares to take it, but now the interesting thing would be to see where will Cavan deploy that man. I would say they need to deploy him up front. They're chasing the game. 18 minutes on the clock. Cavan now have the advantage as Carney goes up. It's one inside there now. Back inside across to Colm Shane and it comes. Colm Shane and still has a nice piece of skill by Colm. Back to his brother Killian. Killian sending a high. Yeah, that's a, that's a good score, score Killian. It's good score. That's exactly what Cavan needed. Yeah, brilliant score and a great response for Cavan to the sending off there. Like, you know, they'd look to get well on top now as the water breaks. Cole Loud would really have to regroup now, Paddy, especially after that sending off David Cattle. Uh, obviously very disappointed as he, he walks along the sideline there in, in, in a sort of in an array of disbelief but um, Loud would really have to regroup and really work hard now I mentioned Cavan's work race uh, several times in, in that first first uh, first passage of the of the first half if you like but um, you know Loud would really have to regroup and, and, and match if not better Cavan's well, work rate now yes Stephen but the water break is coming at the correct yeah. time for yeah, Loud because absolutely. now that they have yeah, to regroup yeah. they have to say well okay how are we yeah. going to set out a stall they'll probably play with maybe even one forward in side and maybe drop a guy back in around the middle of the field and then go man on man but yeah. uh, Cavan then they too have to decide what way we're going to push this on as they get uh, you know the selectors and indeed their manager down in front here Ali Bellio given instructions on how this game is going to be finished out they have 20 minutes to stay in the lorry Maha Cup give or take uh, depending yeah. on add-ons etc etc so game management is very important here for, for both teams for as both well, teams it'd yes be very 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 different now from, from you know a lead perspective and a cabin perspective lead will be uh, Led will be focusing on maintaining their lead, if not extending it to the best of their ability, and and, and obviously Cavan would look to put the full, put the mm. put the full, full on the throttle throttle now. Well, we gave you the final score in the Hyde. That was a uh, one sixteen to thirteen in favour of the Mayo men. So they now play Galway, who haven't had a game at all, of course, with Sligo the way that the COVID affected them. Then Longford, who led for a long, long period in this game, Leash finally come back and catch them at the death. One sixteen plays one fourteen. Leash, of course, who secured the Division Two status by virtue of a last day win, and then Mead who had a huge victory over Wicklow uh, down 115 for man 11 points so then it's down versus Cavan next weekend in the Ulster semi-final so that's how we are other teams all other teams of course there's no back doors one would have to say I don't know about you I know the hurling is different yeah. the, the back door the, maybe less teams playing at the top level maybe the one soft championship the one bite of the cherry is the way to go it keeps it fresh and I'll tell you what it does do maybe the corporate people mightn't like us here us say that but maybe. it does it gives the club scene a lot of time and space and it's let's face it it's all about the club down it comes to Keenan Keenan has it and he's around the halfway line as he sends a good ball inside ball inside in there was Fred Williams but the man that has it inside loud on the attack still loud Paul Matthews that man is in there oh, again nice piece work. of skill yeah. and flicks it out now to Gagan you'd imagine he would convert but blocked oh, down and block. well blocked down by Williams comes as far as Crudden still oh, Crudden Crudden going down scores. far side of the field to Killian Shannon Killian Shaden perhaps is the extra man still Killian Shannon cuts back inside despite Ryan Walsh's best attempts he's going far side of the field now good ball across towards Carney Carney unable to get it under control the man that's going to be there is Malloy Malloy is there so too are two of them but Jamie McDonnell is the the man is going to be back and clear for both of them. McDonald has it, goes down far side of the field to that man number 17, 17, James Costello. Costello does a 1 2 inside, but only as far as Colin Shannon. He's looking maybe to go inside to thread the needle. 
to Brian Fitzgerald. Brian Fitzgerald has it, and instead now it's in for Philip Brady. Philip Brady has it. Philip Brady gets it. <coughs> A little nudge on the hand there, a tap on the hand. I think, actually, to be fair to the corner back there, McCrave, it was Phillips that didn't get the ball first touch. And yeah, first touch set him down there. He's probably fortunate enough, fortunate yeah, enough, fortunate yeah. enough to get the free. Well, I suppose Callum McDonald had no choice, especially if he's going down with a with a hand injury. That's oh, yeah, there's no question that it wasn't yeah. a free, but I think that yeah. had Phillips got the ball... Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the first ball, touch, it yeah. It yeah. wouldn't have actually yeah. ended up being the free, but that's just another the nature of Horan. Uh, it's a very, very speedy game, of course. It's it's another it's opportunity here for Fitzgerald. I have often said, uh, Stephen, although this game is played all over the world, mm. had the Yanks got a hold of Horan <laughs> 50 years ago, it would be a, a sport that would have captured the hearts, the minds and everything... Uh, in the states because yeah. it has scores it has manliness mm -hmm. it has a little bit sometimes a bloodshed it has uh, pace uh, and that is a huge huge thing too if you look at all the american sports and i just think that this is the game that they would have made their own they love their ice hockey they love their baseball but this game with that physical contact yeah absolutely manliness that's involved and you never ever see very very seldom in Holland maybe creeping in a little bit where somebody's trying to maybe get another player in trouble yeah uh, no, it's a manly game it manly is, yeah. game yeah Fitzgerald with an opportunity now to go for his eight and he takes it I think he's pulled no, it to the left he? and wide. Oh, he has. That's a poor wide oh, there. That's a poor wide. Yeah. That's a bit of a let off. He'd be very, very disappointed with that. Brian Fitzgerald yes. was an ideal opportunity 12. to cut, uh, to cut, to cut Loud's lead. Puck it goes long again from Donald Connolly. Lee Malloy breaking onto it. Malloy has it. Malloy lost it. Now it's Colum Shane and Colum Shane is there. Colum Shane trying to get back up. Ball is there, but it's going to be coming to Loud. Walsh is the man there. Walsh is still Walsh. Being chased by Miguel. Still Walsh going up left side of the field. Up into Kerrigan country. And so too is Matthews there. Two of them are going to be the man that has it. The man that has one score since coming on. He flicks it out nicely for Matthews. Chance to pull the trigger. Goes for score from the right side. Yeah, and he's ambitious. going out to the right and wide. So two misses there. One from... Uh, Paul and of course the other one there from Fitzy that's two one would have thought that both teams should have converted there so let's see if it evens out but that's a score certainly that Brian Fitzgerald would have expected to get from that free down the right side coming from Shorten but Ooh. coming now to Killian Shane and Killian coming more into it in the second half turning and sending her in there now towards Fitzy country Fitzy has it but Ronan Byrne is there in close attention he turns oh, he turns him looking for someone inside and he sends her high but well blocked by the keeper there Conley very 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 well blocked it was a tight angle as coming out of it there trying to block him and he's well won there McCrave does well wins the free that was good goalkeeping yeah absolutely yeah great shot start for Donald Connolly always was um, coming into the loud starting um, starting lineup uh, since last year uh, very good shot stopper and he showed it again there showed his quality again there uh, difficult as well with the sun sun beaming in his eyes so he did very well there Paddy that could be the one that could get him into the Laurie Maher final whether they have a chance to avenge the defeat last or two weeks ago against Fermanagh and it's that man Gagan who's having a quiet second half in across the top Darren Shorten's going to have to come out quickly for this one he does so he has Colm Shannon out in support Colm has it Colm controls it still nice Colm Shannon looking to see who's available this time he goes down the throat but Jamie McDonald is inside ball breaking but Brilliant no breaking catch. there that's a fine fetch despite the best attempts of Philip to go on downfield it goes can Gagan keep it in play the answer is no Fred Williams has a chance he has Matthew Hines there in support he can hit it back to Caelan Kelly he has several up uh, I would say that's exactly what he does back it goes Caelan Kelly has it an opportunity now for Caelan to go long that's what he does goes up right side again that man Jamie McDonald has it and puts it in that claw yeah, again brilliant catch but again won't be happy with that one as he sends it straight no. down into the paw of Colm Shannon yeah, still Colm Shannon he goes now opposite side in across the top ball oh, breaks free out all day free out yeah. all day long hand across the top from Sean Keaton and who's going to be spoken to now Philip Brady I think yeah probably verbals again I, I would imagine um Philip will talk his way out of it. Yeah. He's a politician. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that. He is a politician. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ronan Barron with the puck out. Or with the free, actually. Uh, 23 in the second half. Game just now losing, lacking since the water breaks, Stephen. A bit of the heat has gone out of it. Yeah. You'd have to say it. And I think there was Colm Shannon gets that one. I think that uh, Ronan Barron needs a double tap there. Colm Shannon won't be happy with that one. But Ronan Barron there looking for Timber. Nobody getting out to him there. He's, as he's on his turn. Yeah. And on his turn, totally, yeah. On his third hurley is right. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a tenacious player, Ronan Bourne, and I think uh, 
no, think Colin he Shannon can show, will, be, will not be happy with the I think the foul evidence can be shown there on the bonus that he is a bit of a tenacious player on the bonus two holes he's broke now and as Darren Gagan lines up this free and uh, from Loud's point of view you'd, you'd feel that he has to has to nail it to extend their lead and keep Cavan at arm's length yeah and I think that this will be a real real dagger in the Cavan yeah. hopes because they had a chance to put four in it and this will put it back to a six point game and that's you know it's 17 playing five so you're looking at or playing 12 so you're looking at the 18 playing 12 if this converts what about 11 Wind minutes to go died down a wee bit too in the yeah. second half but has he pulled oh, it to the left he's dragged us he has yes he has pulled it's it another, to the left it's another let off he was looking at maybe a Brian Fitzgerald in the first half which yeah. both his went wide to the right side there but now it's going to be out from Anthony Shorten out to Colm Shannon Colm Shannon trying to get that one under control Probably should have went long in that pocket there. It's put him under a bit of unnecessary pressure. There was plenty of space inside the middle third there for Cavan to work with on the pocket, but he went short and he put himself, he put um, put Sheenan under pressure there, but he's fortunate enough to win the sideline. He does so. Towards Shalvi. Shalvi unable to get it. Paul matches again, causing havoc. Again. Has a chance now to flicker over on his left side. And. He doesn't. He's gone to the right and yeah. wide, and that's a couple of opportunities there now. Loud, they had to ice this game, and yeah. uh, I think Colin Shannon is playing deep in the hole. I would imagine that Cavan need to push up on this game. Now we have Killian Shannon, who's trying to get that one under control, but Keenan is the man who wins it. Now it's back inside there is Jeremy uh, Shalvey. Shalvey had done well pushing the back. Jamie McDonald will be maybe a little bit consider himself a little bit furnished to get the free there, but it's going to be a free out to Loud. Somebody looking for timber. Cavan man looking for timber. Jermud Carney. Yeah, I just see Peter Fortune there off the Falcons getting lined up for loud number 22. It'll be interesting to see who he replaces. Colm Shannon is in, anticipated that well. Having a good second half as Colm coming more and more into the game. As Gagan follows and Gagan no, no does foul, well yeah. back into Killian Shannon, but that's Killian is dispossessed. Well, it was Colm actually who lost her on the run, and now it's Keenan. Keenan, down he goes across the 50 metre line, and a good shoulder there from Hines. That was good play there by Hines as he done well back inside. Pro ball, free out, coming Cavan. That was good again, you're talking all day, but. Well, in the second half in particular, but the work way to Cavan, and that yeah. showed more of it there. But an opportunity was there for Niall to pull the trigger on that occasion. He should have probably had that ball set into his inside forwards yeah. who were going well today. Probably. Darren Shorten with the free. 22 is on for Loud. On number 22, team, number 22 Peter Fortune. Peter Fortune is replacing number 13, Phelan Joyce. 22 for 13, Loud. 26 and change on the clock. Darren Shorten with the free. Out in front of us here from under the stand he sends her down in around the diamond they're all up and now just let's just see how she's, this one breaks it's breaking the loud way Sean goes there so too is Fitzgerald so too back in now as it's cleared down by Fee it's going to come as far as Freddie Williams Freddie has it Freddie looking through the hand he gets it back up and now oh, it's going gathered. to be on the run as Darren Madden Darren Madden on the left side sends her high and it's off the post and it's Ooh, inside it is it going to be a penalty? No. no it's, it's going to be a square ball. ball. That was a very late Lay flag. I would have thought a very yeah. late signal. Uh, Connolly is down. Off. The goalkeeper is down. Yeah. Donald Connolly. But just it came off of, the post. Yeah, just a bit of misjudgment there from Donald Connolly. I think he was anticipating that it was going to drive to the left and wide. He, he's, 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 he's caught there. Um, he's caught there a little bit. Unfortunate to get caught there. Seems to be in a bit of distress. The helmet's off. But Lay's off the hook there big time. And as I said, it was a pretty late call there. Um, by, by the referee but a uh, square ball given it loud or off the hook but Cavan need to be more clinical now you see it does 27 and a half minutes on the clock you know Cavan this is the time there where they need to get ball you need to get ball into the scoring zone and, and become more clinical and create the space because they have space now with the extra man Cavan yes yes and Darren Madden was the man who's centre in there he's going to be speaking now I don't know the referee is explaining something there I think uh, to Sean Keating uh, and uh, his marker there uh, Connor Matthews but uh, Quite difficult to see exactly what we got as Ronan Byrne sends that one. It's a fine drive down the field. They come up, they come, it comes off the hand. The Hines come to Carney. Carney unable to keep it on the control. Ball is in the ruck inside there. They're all going for it. Back in now. Killian Shane is there. And it comes away from Colm Shane. Yeah, Colm Shane shadowed there now. It's Ryan. Ryan uh, is could be in a I could be uh, very is wrong here, I but I think, think the elbow was raised. And unless. Colin McDonald just seen it as a charge into the chest. Yeah, I think he's off. Is he? I think the elbow was raised here. 
It's a yellow, yellow card. card. I think he can consider himself yeah. lucky. I just thought, I just thought, uh, you know, in the motion, I just thought the elbow was raised, and I thought, I thought Colin McDonald was, uh, you know, going to maybe miss a reduce a loud to talk to Laurie Maher Copper. We're not going to preempt the result, of course. Yeah. As Brian Fitzgerald in the halfway line prepares to take it, sends her high. She's going to drop in. And it comes off to Judged keep there. On that occasion, is it out for 65? It 65, is. 65, yep. so he's going to get himself that little bit closer. Yeah. He still has time, so there's cherry. no point in dropping them in short. Yeah, yet. no, he's he still, they still have time, Kevin, but as I said, they just need to get more ball into the scoring zone now. They have the space with the extra man. They just want to get more ball into the scoring zone um, and, and, and be a lot more clinical than they have been. So, all to play for. We now have 29 on the clock. Nearly, t yeah, nearly 30 on the scoreboard on the screen here. Yeah. Fred Williams makes the run. No, we'll go for it. We'll have to. I think he has to. Yeah. It's a 65. You know, it's... It's well within his in. range. It's a good strike. And he goes for the yeah. flag. It's a good strike. Again, the trajectory of the ball there, just lovely. Doesn't let the wind catch it perfectly. Perfectly judged over the bar, the gap. Now back to a two-score game. Two-score game down as they go into the uh, danger area. They have it. Back out coming there by the 22-man for Loud. Peter Fortune not long on the field. Fortune still there in support. Back it comes now. A chance to pull the trigger. Not quite didn't catch which player it is. But out comes to Darren Shorten. Darren Shorten is there. Shorten still Darren Shorten. Here. He could get caught. Bother here. He needs to get yeah. this one out of the way. And oh. that man again, Paul Matthews. And it was Niall Keenan, I think, was the man who gets it back a second time. Still Niall Keenan, and he has fortune and support. Possession's critical here over the game. Fred Williams is there. It's going to fall for Hines. Hines has support. Critical. Inside it comes to McGill. McGill has it. McGill will lose it. And now it's a chance, and that's a great clearance there by McCrave. Up they go. Colin Shannon has it. That's a great fetch by Shannon. Yeah, Shannon well. gets it to Shorten. Shorten Anthony, that is. Brother of goalkeeper Darren. Down into the danger area, but again, Ronan Byrne is down underneath it. Ronan Byrne is there. One with it. He's fouled there. There's the experience trying to through. Yeah, absolutely. Ronan Bourne, yeah. Wild walk there. Very, very brave. Got his hand to it. And he's in a rush to take the free. Gives it out wide. Yeah, that was a good, actually, fetch on the other end there by Colum Shannon. Ball in around the house. 20 metre line ball dropping inside there now is Kerrigan. Colum Shannon again coming out with it. Still well Colum Shannon. Yeah. Getting it outside to the Gunner. Gunner has it. Flicking it out to Madden. Madden has it now. The left side of Hurler goes down left side. Into the corner it goes. Well won inside there by Sean Keaton. Keaton comes off his left side, sending her in high. Is it long enough? Is it oh, accurate enough? It's going to cut in, and that's a good score from Keaton. Yeah, very he had a great score, score in the first yeah. half, and it's a great score in the second half. Absolutely, yeah. Match is great score in the first half, as you already mentioned. The substitution for Loud here. Number eight, here. Ryan Walsh. Five for eight, Loud. The the field is, uh, but the game's right in the mountain pot here now. One score game, three points in it with uh, around about three minutes, and whatever Colin McDonald adds on. Games right in the mountain pot here. And uh, what's going to happen here? A substitution was made. The player wasn't off the field, so it's going to be an opportunity. As Brian Fitzgerald there had got that short puck out, but that was a let off there for Loud. Absolutely, Fitzgerald was there yeah, down yeah, the goals, yeah. and that was a, a tough call by the referee yeah. now. I think the, so the Ryan Walsh wasn't off the field. I think that was the problem. So He's been given the go-ahead to take the puck out now. And if I, I was Donald Connolly, I'd drive it down the field as far as, far as I can, and that's what he does. Yes, he does on the second time of asking, but certainly that was a huge call by the referee. The ball is breaking inside there now, with Cavan not going away. Fortune has it, Fortune loses it, Fortune has it back. Back in now is Kitty and Shannon. So too now is Sean McGill. McGill is there, McGill is tackled. Still, he raises the challenge, has the advantage. Is he going to try and pop it over? Sending it in, doesn't oh, get good timber on it, but it's going to be back and it's going to be an opportunity as the wind picks up. Brian Fitzgerald to make it a two-point game, 32 and change on the clock. Fitzgerald doesn't need to waste any time, he needs to go through his, his process of free taking, he needs to go through it pretty quickly. Uh, that'll be a talking point however this game ends up, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, the goal. I, I think the problem was, Paddy, I, I don't think Ryan Walsh is actually off the field of play. Um, the, the, the substitution that was made there when Conor Dino placed him. I think that that's what it was. But it'll be interesting to see now from like what that actually was. It'll be interesting to watch it back now. Conor Dean now on the field of play. Conor, lively player, half back, was due to start but didn't start. And uh, now it's an opportunity for Fitzy to make it a two point game. Wins just picking 14 up there plays again. 14. Yeah. He strikes it well. He certainly has the distance and he has the accuracy. Two point game, Paddy. Two point game. Bear in mind, one thing that is, <laughs> Loud have to win, Cavan have to draw. 
Yeah, draw will do, Kevin. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Loud will have to win. Obviously, now uh, Loud were caught in, in injury time last week uh, or two weeks ago, so the wouldn't want history. Uh, the wouldn't want history to repeat itself here. Malai does well. Still Malai made a little bit of room for himself. Malai has room and he has players and support. This time he goes on the right side, switches to play. Intelligent play by him. In it goes there now. Back inside there now to Kerrigan. Kerrigan is in. Still Kerrigan, trying to shield it back out. Outside it comes, and it's the loud man in 17 has it. That's Costello. Costello hands it, sends it in. Oh, and he was came late there, didn't yeah. Malai, but in fairness, he was committed. He was committed. I don't think there was no foul play there. Yeah, Colin McDonald. Sideline cut to the cabin men. Get on 34. With it. No sign of a, a, a timer going up here now as Cavan are going to drive down the field. Darren Madden moving her down. So too Anthony Shorten now as he's about to take the sideline cut. Anthony Shorten out on his own 20 metre line. Is it going to be hit back towards him? Ball flaked down the field, but only as far as Malai. He hits her on the fly. In it goes. Ball broke, breaks. Inside it comes back in now. They're all there. They're has Carney got it Colm Shannon is in there so too is Carney now the man that comes away with it is Caelan Kelly he goes fast out of the field to Fred Williams Fred Williams is there as Kelly fixes the boot inside to Fred Williams he has player in support through the hand it comes now to Fitzgerald Fitzgerald off his right side sending her in it's going to stay out to the right I think and wide that's exactly what it does do high right and wide four, four minutes, minutes of added time yeah, we're just about to end about right, that yeah. force of the two point lead in one of the most dangerous leads The loud effort minutes. in the second half, yeah. Stephen, hasn't just been as... as no, as it intense. hasn't, and, and the, the, the heads have seemed to have dropped since the, since the, the red card to David Cattle, and, the, you know, they're just... They're being outworked in most, the, in most areas of the field here, and Cavan... Gunnar has it as he takes it from Cowan. He sent in around the house. They, up they go. The man that has it... Or we thought he had it, but he hadn't. It was Keating. The ball is in. The ball's going to be a free out there. Didn't get the hand on it yeah. first time. Sean Keating It's going to be a free out to Loud. That's a vital, vital one for Loud as it was sent in there for Philip Brady after good work on the left side by Kearney. Yeah, and there'll be no rush now on Ronan Bourne to take this. There won't be as much of a rush as there was to take his last one, just about 20 metres up on the, on the right-hand side. Uh, first Cavan player going to be booked here, I think. He's talking to Sean Keating, Sean if Keating, I'm not mistaken. Yes. So Loud will be happy just to run down the clock as Sean Keaton goes into the boot there. I think they need to get Brian Fitzgerald up on the edge of the Yeah. On the edge yeah. of that. Yeah, that, yeah. That, they, uh, need, they, need to they need to push forward now, Calvin. They need to they've taken one or two scores there, as I mentioned in the scoring zone, to create more space because they have it as a result of the extra man. Column Shannon is the man that's playing there deep in the pocket. Ball broken off Fred Williams. Possession here crucial. There now. now too is Philip Brady, still the gunner. The gunner has it, been shadowed as the gunner. In through, he comes at Anthony Shorten. Anthony Shorten sends her high, he sends her straight. But it's not straight enough. It stays to the left and stays wide. Yeah, it's going to be a free. It's yeah. going to be a free to Brian Fitzgerald. That was good an advantage, advantage to be played yeah. there. Didn't see the foul. Good was it Philip Brady? Yeah, it was good advantage played. It was just, uh, I think Philip Brady was held as he tried to lay that, pa or, uh, lay that off. So uh, it's another chance here for, for Fitzgerald to, to narrow the gap. He the needs to bring it to the minimum. If this doesn't go over, one would say that maybe Cavan's hope are gone. We it's have two of the four played here. Loud need a score. Loud need a score badly. So Fitzgerald. 64 metres out. 63 when he strikes. He sends her high. Uh, it's over. We're bending the back. Are yeah. we bending the back? We yeah. have a one point game. Bear in mind folks that Cavan need the draw. Loud lead the win. Fitzgerald might count as 10 points. Cavan of 16. Loud of a goal on 14. That's 17 by anybody's count. An exhibition of free taking out from Brian Fitzgerald today. He's been very impressive under the place ball. Conley going left side. Out they go. Ball up. Ball is up high. Ball breaks. The thruster is on there. Out. Coming away with it there is Killian Shannon, I do believe. Still Killian Shannon back to Colm Shannon. Colm Shannon dropping him in around the house. Keaton is there. Keaton is up, but it's coming to Conley. Conley has players in support. He's going to get it out to Malai. Malai has had a good day at the office. Still Malai. Ronan Byrne is down. Looked to have picked up an injury, maybe a muscle injury. Down the far side of the field. Caelan Kelly trying to get to it. It's going to be Dean. Dean has it. Dean looking at his options. In no particular rush. Took an extra turn there. Up they go. Ball comes up to Hines. Hines out, but it's going to be a chance here. As... Kerrigan it is who's in the battle up they come Williams trying to get it cleared now it's Colm Shannon it's going to be left for Costello Costello has it still Costello Shannon picks the pocket Shannon roots it on to the brother Killian still Killian still Killian blacked in it comes to Colm Colm throws it through to Anthony Shorten Anthony Shorten goes length but straight down the throat of uh, Jamie McDonald Jamie McDonald down the field it goes he won't be happy with that one 
Cavan man in support. It looks to have picked up the injury there now. Oh, careless, a careless, chance there for Matthew Hines. Matthew Hines is going to go into the book. That this should ice the game. A score here will ice the game that was excellent. Uh, for uh, Gagan. That was excellent work there from Darren Gagan. Didn't give up didn't give up on us and won a free that you would say would be within his territory. Paddy the Rady's going uh, with the with the freeze this afternoon. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, looking for him, yeah. it's a 9 out of 10 chance as well. Gary O'Rourke is getting ready it's to be introduced. Big, big play here. Big, big play big here. Play. The Cavan had the chance there. They got it out yeah. of the field as Hines goes in. Hines is injured. He's going to have to come off. He was actually running for that ball, and that was that bit of frustration. He had injured himself, but in fairness to him, he kept going to the bitter end, the school teacher uh, in from Mullerhorn. So a chance here now to make this a two-point game. And you know what? That late score last week, that draw match, yeah. Had that not happened, actually, Cavan probably could have afforded to lose by the one point. It's a big, big uh, free under pressure here for Darren Gagan. Yes, yeah, so we are had just one, four minutes added. He had one right at the death there uh, against Fermanagh two weeks ago. Nine, he was very unfortunate. He just under hit it. Uh, he was on the sixty. He was right on the sixty-five there, just as he under hit it. So he'd be looking for uh, he'd be looking for better fortune as he lines this one up. It's a big, big, big. Big play here, but he absolutely uh, I nails think he's put it. Yeah, he nails it. He you absolutely will have a chance to avenge. It. You will have a chance to avenge the early defeat of Fermanagh. It looks like a now. Cavan need a goal. Hand. Darren Shorten sends her out. Last attack, one would imagine for Cavan. Pulled through the hand, yeah, nudging the back by Gary O'Rourke. That I would imagine. Needless free to give Silly away. Silly free to give away. Needless, needless to give away. He'll be absolutely kicking himself, Gary O'Rourke. There, just so needless. Uh, yeah, good spot by the referee. In fairness, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was right. In the Ronan Byrne coming out to take it, and you know what? Well, I would have thought no maybe rush. the Jagan would have took that. Yeah, he'll be well in no rush. It was yeah. in his wheelhouse. Lair just reluctant to push push players forward. Obviously Dean the makes the run, back. goes short. Dean has the chance. Possession here is crucial. Goes far side of the field, out to Fortune. Fortune for score from distance. Goes out the right the side. To the right and I would say this is the first. final whistle as he heads to the down the field we go. That's it. Louder in the final. Louder Stephen, on behalf of myself and the Cavan County Board, and indeed from uh, Cavs stream, we would like to wish Loud the best himself and our neighbours from Anna, of course. Uh, Cavan in the second half probably deserved to get something out of this. Loud uh, imploded a little bit. I know uh, they lost the man, they were down to the 14. Yeah. Uh, but. Cavan will be disappointed there was a few they were a little bit wayward in the second half at the times when they had D the advantage there they have had a good campaign but that's no good nobody you know nearly doesn't mm. uh, do the business yeah nearly knows, doesn't do the business especially in knockout uh, hurling like this And uh, but uh, I have to say I was very impressed with Cavan um, today yeah, they have improved. There's yeah. no doubt about that. But <laughs> today they had an opportunity. In the first half, you would have thought Loud were d out the gate. There were yeah. at times there were six points consistently up five and six points. But Cavan battled and battled and battled. Then it yeah. went to the 14-man game. But Cavan were in the ascendancy at that stage anyway. Now there was a few opportunities and a few drops short and a few wides. But Loud had wides too. There's no doubt about that. Uh, both teams have wides, and it comes down to decisions, little things here mm. and there. Yeah. The, when they, when they got it to the one-point game, they had that chance and they hit it straight down the throat of. Jamie McDonnelly with a good second half positional wise he stood in the pocket yeah. and five or six <laughs> balls were hit directly down to him one would have thought that at that time that maybe it was Loud were playing with the 15 men but that was crucial that was a, a couple of okay but then Cavan deployed their extra man Colm Shannon back in the half back line or between mm. the half back and the full back line say, he done like, quite yeah, well yeah, in the second yeah he did half. yeah yeah he got onto an awful lot of balls left off an awful lot of ball Cav look Cavan would be disappointed I mean like you know <laughs> how, how could the not um, I, I do think Loud would be disappointed somewhat with the performance, uh, especially in the second half, Paddy. I thought the, the walk rate of Cavan, um, the walk rate of Cavan was absolutely excellent. Loud were no match in terms of that, in, in, of, uh, in terms of the walk rate in the second half. The Cavan walk rate in the second half was absolutely excellent. You talk about them scrummages that developed, Paddy. Cavan came on, came out on top in every single one of them, and I think that was, it was very, very impressive from a Cavan point of view. The the one thing that struck out about me was the walk rate. What maybe cost the game for Cavan was, you know, the the struggle to get the ball into the scoring zone, etc. You know what I mean? The struggle to get ball inside there, and they just lacked that little bit of quality that can be developed of taking your score in the scoring zone. Mm -hmm. Loud just did that, maybe you know five or six times. That was enough to get them over the line in the end. Loud had, you know, the players like Gagan there in the in the forward line. You know, you had Andrew Mack and Phelan Joyce, Paul Matthews. These are these are players that are well capable of taking their, their points in the in the in the scoring zone. So I think Cavan are absolutely improving. I, I did see them on a number of, of occasions last year uh, as, a, as a national umpire, would you believe? And, you know, they've really, really improved this year in terms of the work rate, in terms of the ball play. And, you know, you, you 
you talk about the first half, the pockets from Laid. Pockets Laid were well on top in, in each pocket or in each respective pocket. In the second half, Cavan, I felt Cavan were much, much better in the second half than the way on the first party, especially with the with the work rate. They were coming out on top in the fifty fifties, the scrummages. Um and I think that, you know, they were just a little bit unfortunate. I think ten minutes, maybe five, ten minutes if that ha- if that half had lasted five, ten minutes more, Cavan would have got over the line. They just ran out of time in the end, the but it was a very, very impressive performance. Uh, impressive performance. Yeah. As I say, Fermana won't be that scared. Like Fermana, you no. know, I would have thought that maybe Fermana had a heel against the head with with, with Loud, but after mm. watching Loud today, you know, Fermanagh pushed Cavan all the way, obviously draw a match, but now they're going to have to, you know, stick to the, the goals. Yeah, they're going to I have like two halves together like they had today I, in, in the first half. Yeah. Now, the one thing maybe I thought in, in with regard to Cavan. I thought maybe perhaps in the second half they should. I know they brought Killian Shane and out the field, mm. and 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 maybe Brian Fitzgerald. But one of those two guys I felt should have been in around the scoring area because you know they're they're just maybe you know at that standard maybe a little bit higher, and we needed their little cuteness around the square that maybe there was a score or a half, maybe a sniff of a goal, something like that. Uh, just felt that maybe that. But look at hey, it's very simple to play hurling football or any other sport when you're up in the stand when you're down there Absolutely. in the heat of battle. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a whole different thing. ball game. It's a whole different ball game and, and, and as I said Loud have a lot of work to do and I said that in the you know in the second half Loud if they were to win the Laurie Mohor next week if they were to beat Fermanagh have a lot of work to do to an extent against Fermanagh they were an architect of their own downfall you know they, they poked the game away they you know missed a couple of uh, missed a couple of frees obviously you know Paddy Lynch uh, was on the frees last week he was you know and there was a cross field breeze um, you know Gagan was very impressive under the place ball which helped Loud's cause no doubt today but Loud would need to be much more you know the, the need their, their first touch really wasn't there today in the first half it was a bit better in the second half um, the positional play at times was you know poor enough Cavan tended to have a lot of space I don't know if you recognise that Paddy yeah. but Cavan tended to have a lot of space out in that far side of the field uh, and, they, and they worked they got a lot of joy from working uh, from, from working passages out on that far side of the field so the positional play ten, tends to go lackadaisy sometimes loud. but Loud have the ability but they would need uh, a much better performance than than what they've shown in the, in the last two rounds. There's no doubt about it. For Mana, you would say it would be confident. Head yes, we'll look at we'll, 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 next week. We'll wrap her up soon, Stephen and yeah. Thomas. As I said, you know, ten points from from Brian Fitzgerald yeah. is probably a little bit over reliance on Brian. But of course, probably. you know that comes to, to, to yeah. discipline. Maybe in you know they can't afford to give away. Uh, Needless freeze loud, but look, at they're in the final. They Absolutely. deserve to be in yeah. the final, obviously on merit. They, they they've come away with one win and a one point defeat after a, giving up a, a a late goal yeah. to be defeated by one. The one thing I do believe from my watching the boat games, I think the wide open spaces of Parky Crokey will suit loud. I think yes. that they might just have the legs yeah. on Fermanagh. I'm not. I'm obviously I'm not uh, picking out, but that's just from my brief. Uh, Experience of watching both teams. I've only saw them once this year for Man and Loud. So I just think that the wide open spaces. But look, it's been a pleasure, Stephen. You'll Thank be you in Crow much, Park Paddy, next yeah. week. I don't Thank know whether it's on Saturday or Sunday. It's been an absolute I pleasure. I believe it's and, uh, Saturday. Um, yeah. I know that, that you'll come back to me with me yeah. medal from oh, the seventies. I, I absolutely will. And, yeah, I'll uh, get on to fit some <laughs> straight away. Just before you go, Paddy. Just before you go, my father was on to me. Would you believe? And I have information here. So from Kingston, so Breffney. Go ahead. You yeah. want to tell me a bit about uh, Benny Smith? Yes. Was married to Junie McConnell. Correct. From Jamiskin. Yes. And that's the information that's come through to me yes, from my yes, father yes, who's yes, at home. Yes, and uh, I hope he and all enjoyed. A lovely little lassie yes. she was. I, I had a lot of customers in the bar game <laughs> uh, from the town <laughs> and from round that area. I had the Badger, the Badger Carley yes. from round Dromiskin. Mike, and I had uh, Ronan Keenan, if you know Ronan, and his late sister Brona, who would be Dromiskin. Yes. Uh, she's married to a Cavan man, Martin McMahon from Baileyborough. They have their two girls, Lord Rester. And uh, so we had a lot of them. And of course, then the, the, the Roger family from over that country so Malachy Brian and of course the great Liverpool man Kevin himself Dermot yes. and Sheila and the whole gang but look at from Kingspan Breffney from Howdy. myself Stephen thank you very uh, much thank you